want to be around a long time. I can't, I can't do it. My kid, I got four kids now, by the way. Four little ones, yeah. Do you have parents of young ones? You got any parents of young ones? Yeah? Couple there? Yeah, it's all, kids are great, man. It's the greatest gift on the planet, children. There's no better gift. I, when we had our first daughter, I freaked out. I told my wife, I was like, there's nobody on this earth I will ever love as much as this little girl ever, ever again. And I'm just gonna pour all my love into this child. And my wife felt the same way. And then she got pregnant again. We were like worried. We were like, wait, wait a second. We just said we love this one so much. <laughs> How do we split up our love and just, you know, do? and we got, honestly, we were nervous about it. And our friends were like, relax, everybody goes through it and it's unconditional love and you do. You just love all your kids equally. And I gotta say, they were wrong. <laughs> I don't care for the second one. I just got <laughs> She's just a little needy every day. It's the same thing. I'm hungry. Oh, really? Oh, there's some news. Oh, we're all hungry. Get in line. <laughs> She's my angel, that one. She's the one, she stops in the middle of the day. This is one, she, she comes into my office, middle of the afternoon, we'll just stop and go, Daddy, can I talk to you for a second? I'm like, yeah, what's up? She goes, I just want you to know, I love you. Yeah, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I love you. And she's like, no, I love you so much. I'm like, I love you so much. And she's like, no. <laughs> I love you more than brownies. I was like, can't even blow out their own birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I love you more than gluten-free brownies. What do you say? I don't even know what to say. The new one, our little new one, she's, uh, she's not a daddy's girl right now. I wish she was. The other day she was crying, standing in the hallway, and uh, late at night and we woke up and I told my wife, I go, let me go deal with her because give me a chance to bond with her. So I walk out in the hallway and I'm like, what's the matter, sweetheart? Is everything all right? And she just stops me. She goes, I want my mommy. I don't want you. Go downstairs. The first thing she said threw me the most. She said, Love celery. That's why she be wearing the weird rings and shit. She said, I want my mommy. Like, I don't even know who the hell you are. <laughs> then in case I'm confused, she makes it very clear. I don't want you. <laughs> and not only do I not want you, I don't even want you on the same floor as me. You need to be a floor below me. <laughs> chubby. I think she said chubby. I'm not sure. Uh, hey. It was late at night, it was under her breath, but I think I heard like, hey, out of my face, fatty, or something like that, I just, I don't know. 